Welcome to my 10th Blu-ray and DVD movie update. Here we go again. But instead of showing you guys the intro and title card, I decided to skip that because I have so much to show you that's going to take so long and I don't want to sp um, spend too much time on the intro, so I'm just going to go right into it. Right into my Blu-ray and DVD update with a VHS tape. Oh yeah. Old school. First up is a movie that I actually won from Mr. Tony of the Dead's contest, and that is Basket Case. I have not watched this yet, but I really want to, but I want to start watching when I get the other two. So, yeah, Basket Case, it's always been intriguing to me. I've never seen it before, and I will definitely have to check it out soon. Next up is a film I had just watched a couple nights ago, and it is awesome it is so much fun and that is big ass spider with the correct title i ordered this off of amazon brand new i was so worried that i was gonna, worried that they were going to send it from walmart walmart because walmart changed the title to biggest spider but they wouldn't do that to kick ass they only did it to big ass spider just because the ass word i'm like what the hell but anyways big ass spider wicked fun time this next movie I have is, was sort of a blind buy. I knew that it starred Eric Roberts and Danielle Harris. I knew that it had to do with some sort of contest, um, a survival show thing. And I knew that, I've, I saw the trailer, that's all I knew. And that was Camp Dread. Uh, this looks very interesting. I've heard some pretty funny things about it. And uh, I'm really going to have to check this out soon. Because now I've lo I'm looking at the back cover again. And it looks pretty cool. Now, this one was a total blind buy. I bought it for one reason, and, well, a couple of reasons. It stars David Carradine, D. Wallace Stone, and that's all who I really know playing the film. And I thought that was good enough for me to buy it. Plus, it's right off for bloody horror violence. Bloody horror violence, that's enough to get my interest. I got this for $1.99 at my local Walgreens. I got a couple other things to show you that I got for $1.99, and it is, they're pretty cool. And that is, the, the first one I got is Dark Fields. Now, Dark Fields, I don't even know anything about, but it looks pretty interesting. So I'm definitely going to have to check it out. It's almost two hours long, so I'll have to be in a really good mood to watch it. This is also another prize that I won from Mr. Tony of the Dead's Contest. I have it on DVD already, DVD already but I never had it on Blu-ray. That, that is Day of the Dead. Um, I really can't wait to check this out on Blu-ray. It's, it's actually one of my favorite Romero, Romero films. The first, second, third, Night, Dawn, Day, I just can't decide which one's, my, which one's my favorite right now, but they're all really awesome. Here's a movie that a lot of people seem to really hate. I kind of enjoyed it. I liked it more than some of the other Paranormal Activity films and some of the other Paranormal Activity uh, inspira inspired films, but this was actually pretty cool. It's Devil's Do on Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. Now, I didn't hate this film, actually. I thought it was pretty interesting. Not interesting, but entertaining. Um... And the fact that it's rated R made it a lot better. Because if it was like a PG-13 mess, I could understand even more hate for it. But it's an R-rated mess, so I give it a little bit more leeway. Because it has balls to show some things that PG-13 wouldn't. Here we have a sci-fi channel film that came out a long time ago. Back in like 2013. And it was really good. I actually thought it was a very well done, light-hearted creature feature. And that is Flying Monkeys. Which is obviously kind of like inspired... By the flying monkeys in the Wizard of Oz, but this was pretty good. It had a strong cast. It had great char great characters, uh, decent CGI monkeys. So not that bad. Now this one, you're probably all gonna be like, "Well, don't you own all the Friday the 13th?" And I'll be like, "Yes, I do." But I had this one on Blu-ray and not DVD because I had it on DVD once, but it wasn't the uh, killer cut because I got it from Blockbuster and Blockbuster lied. But I got it for three bucks at Big Lots, and that's the remake of. Friday reboot, I should say, Friday the 13th, um, on DVD. So, nothing much to say. i done a review on it, but I kind of lightened up on that a little bit. I enjoy it for what it is. It's actually pretty damn entertaining, and I'm going to say a pretty fun and good movie. The third thing I want from Mr. Tony of the Dead's contest is this DVD version of From Beyond. Um, I have this on the Blu-ray from Screen Factory, but I've always wanted this DVD, edi ed DVD edition, so it's kind of like a nostalgia thing for me, and I was really glad to win it. Um, this is a very expensive DVD. It's out of print, but I don't think much people would want to buy it because they'd rather spend the lesser amount of money on the Blu-ray than the more amount of money on the DVD. 
which is common sense. Next up we have the original, the giant Gila monster. And then I also have the remake by Jim Wynorski, Gila. Dude, both these films, they're spectacular. But I have to go with the remake because it feels just so much more in tune with what we're trying to do. And it had the money to do better special effects, even though they're not the best special effects. They're a lot better than this one's. And Gila is just so much fun. I haven't seen this one in a while, but, dude, it, they're both awesome, fun, cheesy, gloriously over-the-top films. Oh, yeah, it's Godzilla time. I got five Godzilla titles here. I'll say them off right now. Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster. Godzilla vs. Gigan. And Godzilla vs. Megalon. Five new ones to add to my collection. I'm practically done. It's I got over 20 of these movies, and um, I'm just loving Godzilla right now. And just for those who are wondering, I did see Godzilla, the remake or reboot in um, this past yesterday, and I'm going to see it again before I review it. So tomorrow I'm going to be watching it again in IMAX, and uh, for a second time, this time again in 3D, but I watched it not in IMAX last time, but in 3D, and I'm going to be reviewing it soon. Here I have a film that I believe is from Scotland, and I've seen the trailer a while ago, and actually I've seen it for a while because uh, it's been out for a while, and I finally got the DVD with the awesome DVD cover, and that is Grabbers. Grabbers, I haven't seen it yet, but it looks awesome. I feel the special effects are great. I feel there's some pretty good gore, so I'm really going to have to check this out soon. Now, this is interesting. This one I got with a double feature, and I'll tell you what it is after because the double feature, the second part of that double feature is coming up soon. But I got this one. It's called Killer Movie. I got it on Blu-ray, and uh, I've heard some pretty good things about it. So I, I picked it up with the other movie, and I'll tell you how much it cost after, but this is just one of them, and I haven't seen it yet. It's not even opened yet. Here I have a film that a lot of people probably don't even know exists, and they're fans of the original. And uh, it's from the, the original is from 1959, and they finally made a sequel, and I really enjoy it. And that is Return of the Killer Shrews. Uh, this is a really fun, cheesy, perfectly done flick. Like, for for the what it is, it's done perfectly. I'm not going to say any more. Now, here are two flicks that I have. I haven't had the original in a long time. I used to own it. And now I found it for five bucks. So it was like four eighty eight at Walmart. And they had this $5 coupon off of God, to see Godzilla with that. Five dollars off the ticket to see Godzilla. And then when I took it off, the code was ripped off. So I couldn't use it. But anyways, it came, what came with the code was this. King Kong, the original. Original. Uh... I love this film, and it's brilliantly done. It has great special effects and quite a bit of violence and gore if you actually pay attention to watching it. And it's pretty amazing. It's, no, it's, not, it's pretty amazing. It is amazing. And then I got its remake on Blu-ray, but I'm going to get rid of this one, and I'm going to buy the uh, Steelbook because it has the Blu-ray DVD combo pack with the um, ex extended edition. This has the extended edition, but I wanted it on with Blu-ray and DVD, so... And it's a steelbook. I just got this in the mail a couple days ago. Actually, the day I went to go see Godzilla. And it is, it's, it, 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 it's a double feature. It's the land that time forgot and the people that time forgot. Um, I was never really interested in seeing these until I watched, uh, what, what's his name? Ben Tenland? Or something? He's a really good reviewer and he does a lot of old cheesy dinosaur movies. I can't, I hope he does Planet of Dinosaurs someday. Because Planet of Dinosaurs, man, if he does a review on that, I'll flip and scream like, yay! But, anyways, he talked about both these films as well as, uh, what's the other one, At the Earth's Core or something, and the other one's something. I like War Warlords of Atlantis, I think. And, uh, yeah, Doug McClure stars, stars in all of them. And... I was really interested in, interested in checking them both out, and guess what? I own it now, so I can. Remember when I talked about Killer Movie? Well, it came with this, a, d a double feature with Midnight Movie, both on Blu-ray, and guess how much I got it for? Not including tax. A dollar ninety-nine at my local Walgreens. I got this that had Killer Movie and Midnight Movie both on Blu-ray for a dollar ninety-nine. I almost shit my pants, and I grabbed it, and I was like, I'm not letting you go, so I, I bought it, and I'm really happy I did, because I've seen some great reviews on both of them, and uh, I can't wait to check out this one first, because it looks way more interesting, but anyway.
So yeah, I got this movie that I'm about to show you in the mail today. I got all the Godzilla films, um, the little three of the five that I got in this new update I got in the mail today. I also got a VHS, which is coming up soon. But the, um, one of the other things I got in today was Poseidon Rex. I watched this online, and I put it in my Savage Channel Creatures video number four. And I actually really enjoyed this movie at first, but now that I watch it again, it's not the best. But it's still very enjoyable, and it's a cool little creature feature. Sorry, big creature feature, because the monster is a T-Rex. Aqua Rex would probably have been a better title. But Poseidon Rex works, works just as well. Next up, I have two American remakes of two Japanese films. And uh, that is The Ring and The Rain 2. I have not owned these in a very long time. I went to this local... Uh, video and like anime store and they had them and I bought them along with another movie and I thought it, I had grabbed a fourth one, I don't remember I totally forgot what the place was called so I'm going to try to find a, the card that they gave me and I'll put a link to the in the description below but anyways there it was a really cool place not many movies but I found a couple good horror movies to pick up on so I did. Now, way back when my channel first started, I had a, a couple, I had like 10 15 videos, and within those 10 to 15 videos, I had reviewed Sasquatch, The Legend of, Legend of Bigfoot, along with Legend of Boggy Creek and Creature from Black Lake. But, anyways, I always wanted to get it on DVD. I waited, and st I still never heard anything, so I'm like, screw it, I'll just get with the, with the collection thing. So I got it, and it has three movies on it, and that is Sasquatch, The Legend of Bigfoot. Snow Beast and the Snow Creature on this Sasquatch Horror Triple Feature. And, uh, yeah, I watched Sasquatch Legend of Bigfoot several times. I love it. It's a great film. I gave it a negative review because I was stupid. I love Sasquatch the Legend of Bigfoot. Next up, I have Scream Park. It stars Doug Bradley and who else? Oh, yeah. No one else is, as no one else that is fam as famous as Doug Bradley, but if you don't know, Doug Bradley's pinhead from the Hellraiser series, except for that horrid ninth installment, which shouldn't even be called an installment. But Scream Park, I just got it because it looked cool. I like the um, critics saying that it brings back to mind Black Christmas or John Carpenter's Halloween, and I thought that was pretty cool, so I decided I'll give it a buy and check it out. Now, here is my fourth and final win from Mr. Tony of the Dead's contest, and that is my third copy of Sleepaway Camp, which I can never get enough of the f buying this. I don't know why, it's a little fetish I have. I can't stop buying this movie, because I figure that someday, when there's no more Sleepaway Camps to be sold, I'll have like a whole bunch of copies, and I now that Scream Factory is re-releasing it, re it on Blu-ray, I'm kind of screwed, but I like to collect it regardless, because I like the cover and I like everything about it, so... Yeah, Sleepaway Camp. And also, I'll put a, a link to Mr. Tony of the Dead's channel in the description below, so please make sure to check out his channel. It is really awesome. Next up, I have Storm Warning. And it looks freaking amazing. It's from the director of Urban Legend, and it looks like it's going to be a greasy, bloody, gory film, and it's unrated. But the rated version, I, I've looked at the MPA rating, it's pretty long and gruesome. So yeah, Storm Warning. I'm definitely going to watch this soon. Watch this soon. Watch this. <laughs> Who's ever seen The Terror Within? That Roger Corman movie that's been released on DVD twice. One with a double feature. Well, I have, and it's a really fun alien ripoff. So I decided, you know what? They've never released a part two on DVD. Might as well get it on VHS. I got The Terror Within 2. A shitty movie, I know. But I had to get it. It's one of the cheaper ones that I wanted I could find, that I could find. So I decided to buy it. Um, I taped up this side because it was falling. It wasn't falling apart. It was just in another case and they didn't have it fixed. And uh, so yeah. The old VHS. The Terror Within 2 on VHS. I like to collect movies that haven't been released on DVD on VHS, so that way, if they never get released on DVD, I'll still have their rel relics. Re relics, you know? Relics. This is the last thing I got at my local Walgreens for $1.99 that day, and that is Under Siege, a Steven Seagal action film with Gary Busey and Tommy Lee Jones. So, what's not to love? Um... I've seen it on TV, TV a couple times, and I really enjoyed it. So, 
Under Siege. And the last but not least, I have Wolf Creek Unrated. I used to own it rated and I got rid of it and now I got it unrated because this because the sequel's coming out. And I really am looking forward to the forward to the sequel. Oh my god, I'm stuttering so much. But anyways, I like the first one. I haven't seen it in a while, so I'll have to give my thoughts on it on different times, so after I watch it again. So yeah. And that's it. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. Now scram, get out of here. Just kidding. I love you guys, and I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, and to leave comments and subscribe.